Hello everyone and welcome to Orange University. On tonight's episode, the first episode of our Bloomboro season slash rotation. All the cards are rotated out after three, well not all the cards, but all of the annoying cards have been rotated out after three long years. No more Kamigawa, no more New Capanna, and no more, um, what is the other one I got rotated out? Uh, the, the inner strat set. So what do we have now? Uh, we got Bloomboro, which is very, very much the, uh, the little critter set. And this is going to be a very fun set because, well, we got a lot of creature interactions. Looks to be pretty aggro. And for the first few decks, I'm going to try out a few of the synergistic deck. So the first deck I want to try is the Lizards. So there are some freaking crazy lizards in this set. We got Iridescent Vine Lasher. This is a one mana one two, which already that stat is not that bad. It's a one. It's not a one one, right? It's a one two. And whenever a land in you control enter the battlefield, this creature deals one damage to your opponent. What? You just land start dealing damage? That's insane. But in addition to that, we also have Offspring. So if we pay three mana instead of one mana, this becomes two of the same cards. Two Iridism Vine Lasher, but the second one is a copy and it's only a 1-1. One, one. That's gonna matter a lot less because that means every time we play a land, it deals two damage to our opponent. That That's sick. All right, we also have four Hired Claw. Hired Claw is pretty good at attacking. It's a one mana, one two, which already is pretty good stats, as we mentioned. It also, whenever it attacks, uh, when, or actually no, whenever we attack with one or more Lizard, not even Hired Claw. If Hired Claw doesn't have haste, that's fine. Other Lizards can attack, and Hired Claw will still deal one damage to target opponent. That's... That's great. And then, of course, we can pay two to put up a Sunstone counter on Higher Claw, but we can only activate if our opponent lost life, which if Higher Claw just attacks, our opponent would have lost life. So that's uh, a definite uh, ability that we can activate whenever we need to, honestly. I'm going to talk about the removal a little bit later. Uh, they're going to go on the side here because they don't matter as much as the rest of the crazy deck. So uh, in the two drop, we're going to have four Valley Rod Caller. This card, not a, not a lizard, but definite inclusion in this deck uh one two or actually no a two two mana one and a black for a one three menace whenever it attacks each opponent loses x life and you gain x life where x is the number of other squirrels bats lizards and rats you control well life gain you say great and then we also uh it's menace so it also has some level of evasion we have uh, also four of flame cash gecko this is our burning tree emissary right here two mana when it enters the battlefield if an opponent lost life this turn add a black and a red mana so basically the, our opponent's gonna lose life right just attacking makes our opponent lose life playing lands make our opponent lose life and then we're gonna have face uh, two mana two two that adds two mana so we can you know just toss a bunch of these into play we also have four fire glass mentor uh two mana uh, or rakdos mana two one at the beginning of your second ming phase they stopped talking about post combat unfortunately uh if an opponent lost life this turn exit the top two card of your library you may play them uh that's the choose one of them you may play that card this turn it's not as great because you have to play it this turn but this card can help us find lands very easily this card can help us find removal very easily so it's a pretty good card definitely an inclusion in the deck because it's card advantage uh, we also have four gift scale torch or scorch uh ward pay two life so three two mana three two already pretty good because we make our opponent pay life uh other creatures you control enter the battlefield with persona sun counter for each opponent who lost life this turn pretty good and then whenever we cast a lizard spell this deals one damage to an opponent so whenever we cast a lizard spell it automatically deals damage and makes sure that our lizard comes into play with a plus one sun counter we also have two vow smasher whenever outlaw you control enters it deals one damage well guess what all the lizards are outlaws. Crazy, right? Uh, assassins, outlaw. Mercenary, outlaw. And a uh, valley rock color, warlock, outlaw. Everything's an outlaw, right? Uh, assassins, mercenary, pirates, rogue, warlock. They're all outlaws. Everything in this deck is an outlaw. Then we have valley flame color. The top end of the deck. What does this do? Well, it's a 3 mana 3-3. Three, three. If a lizard, rat, uh, other otter or raccoon you control with deal damage to a permanent or player it deals uh, damage damage plus one it doesn't say non-combat so combat damage also adds to that too so higher call when it attacks it deals two damage by the uh, by the ability and then it will deal two damage by the attack without anything else uh iridescent vine lasher 
Yeah, one dam what play a land, deal one damage. Offspring, uh, uh play a land deals four damage. Oh boy, this card is insane. And then we have two laughing Jasper Flint. This is a three mana, uh one and a Rakdos for a four three. Creatures you control or you control but don't own are mercenaries. That's fine. It doesn't matter that much. At the beginning of our upkeep, exile the top X card of your uh, of target opponent's library with X is the number of outlaws you control. Well, like we mentioned before, every card here we, we have is an outlaw. So we get to exile our opponent's deck and play it that way oh boy that's also a sick uh ending to the the top tier or the top end of this deck and then of course we have some removals three cut downs three go for the throw pretty uh, standard removal for a black deck if you want you can also turn these into a uh, red removal in three shocks and three lightning strikes it probably plays just as good if not even better for burning our opponent out but uh i want to try this shell a lot of the decks i find online also runs this shell i think this is good or this is better because it's a uh, hard removal rather than just burn damage and we don't really need these to deal damage these cards deal a lot of damage as it is now now the land base right a lot of the lands rotated out so we got three swamps one mountain uh one mud flat village which can be only used to cast creature spells for black but that's fine where right? we have creature spells in black and then we can also sacrifice it to return a bat lizard rat or squirrel card from a graveyard to hand so recycling one of these important cards pretty good and then we have four rock face village four not one this can add red to, to have to play red creature spells good but we can also tap a red and tap this to target lizard mouse otter or raccoon you can draw gets plus one plus zero and gains haste very importantly gives a creature haste then we have four rock uh black cliff, cleave uh two restless restless vents and four sophia's spring for the rakdos color and then we have three cavern of souls to name lizards so our opponent can't stop us they can still counter uh, some of the other cards but you know definitely can't counter any of our lizards and not that counter spell really matters in this format it's so aggro really that's all i got for the deck let's go into the games all right our opponent is the king edogardo no, you're not. We gotta go first. With a one drop, but no two drop. Oh no, these are all two drops. What am I saying? Sick. Hello. We shall call your rock. Alright, so we got the higher claw. It uh whenever it attacks, it deal one or more uh, with one or more lizard. I get to deal one damage. Alright, let's see who's faster. Uh, one damage, right? Is it only as a sorcery? No. CB blocks. Takes one. No blocks, of course. Rock color time. I'm menacing. But of course, they're gonna make three one ones. Yeah. Oh, this is the perfect start. Okay. Uh, well, just play on curve and see what happens, right? This is menace. How much damage does it deal? X is uh, other creatures I control. Kill the Valley Flame Caller. Did I gain life somehow? Oh, I gain X life. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is only if he, he's dealt damage, right? So we'll go for the attack first. That deals damage. But then I don't get to use this. It's kind of tricky. Wish I had an extra land. But uh, it's fine. That means I'm not value rock calling this turn. Creatures are bigger now. X is a number of other squirrels, and then it deals. It takes one damage. One or more lizard. This is a. Oh, it's not a lizard. That's why. Okay, so I'll just attack with both. Cool. So this will give me two mana. And I want another rock. 
Rock Collar? Uh, can he trample me to death here? I do have a Gecko. On board, I can use that to block. Let's see what happens. Right? Gotta, gotta play the cards out. Another case, you don't say. Alright. Do you want a full-on attack? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 11. We're not dead. We now get our land. This is a little slow. Uh, okay, so let's see. I can deal 1, 2... Well, okay, this, this attacks deals 1, right? This attacks and deals 3. So 1, 3, that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Is that lethal? I'm, I'm not good at math. It looks like lethal to me. Goodbye. Well, we we uh, killed the heck out of a Boros deck. That's always fun. Alright, our opponent is a meal. Are, are they a meal for us? Our crazy lizards? Cool. Cut down, go for the throw. Rock face village. Uh, well, we don't have a turn one play, which is surprising with this deck. But I guess going first, we have to keep, right? I don't know. We will see. Opponent is the tanky type. Oh, that sleeves. Uh, this card is this this whole set is rotated out, right? This is from um, uh, Crimson Vow. I hope their vows aren't that crimson, but they have a fat dragon. Fat dragons are cool. Alright, I have to play this first, so I can hold up a cut down. Don't know if that's gonna matter here. Evolve Sleeper. Sort of matters. Alright, well, here is a Gev. Probably just gonna die. Number of outlaws. Well, the rogue itself is an outlaw, so we'll get one. Murix, I think he's holding, going for a go for the throw here. I think he should do it. A bat. Ooh, okay. Well, it's one or the other. Maybe we'll take go for the throw. I don't think that's correct, but yeah. I also don't think that's correct, to be fair. I can Gecko into Go for the Throw. That would kill the bat. Is that better? Don't think I want a Gecko, right? Don't think that's worth it. So I attack here. It would have lost three life. I cast a Literal Spell. He's going to lose one life anyways. And this will be a 4-4. I don't think he's gonna block. Alright. Um, well, <laughs> should have played this first. Thinking about it, that's extra damage. Uh, I thought it was non combat damage, it's just any damage. Bronco. Cool. You Bronco, that's a tap land. Alright, well, what do we do here? We play this, we get two mana to do something. Uh, what can we do with that two mana? Kill the Bronco? Kill the Bat. Do we want to kill the Bronco though? I mean, this is a lot of damage, right? Maybe we'll trade and kill Gev. Okay. Give me back my laughing Jasper Flint. I don't think I played this correctly, but uh, that's fine. Vowel Smasher is cool, but it doesn't give me that extra mana for this, so I think I'll play this. Now the attack is gonna have to go through. Okay, GG. <laughs> Whatevers. Alright, our opponent is Forna. Cool avatar. 
just bought the mastery pass, I guess. You go first. We good. Vine, Sla Vine Lasher, right? That is a turn one play, so we'll keep. Two cut downs, though. Can't offspring it, so play it normally. Mouse. It's a Valium Mouse right here. Comes the target ability for the first time, put a Sun's Encounter on it. If it dies, it deals damage equal to its power. Ooh, boy. Okay, that's... Well, first we'll play a land. Uh, then we attack. Don't think he's gonna block. So he's probably gonna target this... Mouse, right? Still. I can't just take turn 2 off to kill his turn 1 play. That would be pretty bad. Mana full mouse. He's gonna give it a double strike? Alright. Not blocking. I do get a land. That's sweet. I needed that land. Okay. So. Take the 1. I will... Still think I need to cut this down, right? I don't need to do it right now, though. Uh, I can play the Lizard Mentor. See what my top deck is. It could be another cut down. That would really tilt our opponent. This doesn't have anything, right? It's just a one-two. Um, it's a menace, so it's gonna attack through anyways. What do, what do I exile? Uh, choose one of them until end of turn you can play it cool can't play it I kill your hero what is that it's that many cards? I thought, oh, it's two cards. Yeah, I thought that mini card would be kind of broken, right? Two cards is still pretty good, but the problem with that is it's only until the end of turn. All right, it's a cheeky mouse, two, three. It's a double striking two, three. I'll take it. All right, so how do I want to play this? This can deal an extra one damage. Um, does that extra one damage matter here? This doesn't do any damage, right? Whenever you attack with one or more lizards. Oh, okay, it does. But uh, that means my lizards are gonna die. How much do I care about that? Being massacred isn't fun. I can pump one of my lizards for a plus one plus zero. That's nothing. So, I think I just wanna play this and gain a lot of life. Hopefully, get an untapped lands, right? Uh, I mean, that's not guaranteed here. Maybe I just play this. I wonder which one he's going to block. No blocks. Okay. Not blocking me is cool. Uh, Vile Smasher is cool, but I need lands, right? So, extra land drop is an extra damage. Let's see. What does this do? Uh, at the beginning of combat, one or more uh, gets plus one, plus one. Alright, let's not have double strike. Here you go. He's at five. Next attack will kill him. Just by the rock, valley rock caller itself. Whoa! 100% incorrect! But okay. It cost two. How do you play this? Second spell, okay. Cost one less to play. I was like, is there a bug? Double strike? Yes. Do you want to attack with it though? Oh, okay, come on now. That's just bad play. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. 
Please will go to my turn. Um, this buffs all the damage, right? Here we go. Take two from this, take four from this, you're at two, you can block one of the creatures, and you still die. GG. Haha! <laughs> Didn't kill the Valley Rock Caller, that card is insane. Alright, our opponent is Mukuo. One, two, three, four. Some sort of, uh, uh, Eldrazi. <sighs> no one drops. And opponent's going first, but this is not a bad hand. To uh, to be all honest, like I can Vow Smasher into a Gev into a Gecko, right? Okay, let's hope I draw a one drop. Huh? Honestly, I, I this is too good of a hand. That is not a one drop. And they're on Island first. They're on Scrubs Hive. Oh, that's that deck. So we'll Vow Smasher. That's interesting that he didn't even want to attack. Um, or play anything. I could I can attack him. So wanna bounce my Vow Smasher? Alright, takes three. So, just get some creatures down. All my creatures are gonna be big. Bring the ending. Okay. That's what he's holding up? That's not very good. C Corp. Jawbone Duelist. It's gonna make one of these fly. And that's kind of the idea, right? It's gonna have to make one of these fly or the attack doesn't do anything. Uh, you sure? Okay. Plus one, plus three. Do I kill that? I don't think I killed that, right? It doesn't do anything here. What the heck was he thinking? I mean, yeah, you kill my flank tongue thing, but I'm gonna kill your job on duels. Nice, right, do it again. Um, Take one. This triggers more than once a turn. I should have played this first um, before I attacked. I forgot that Vile Smasher does damage anyways. Well, Experimental Augury, you don't even have any poison on me. I'm sorry, Muku1234. All that number counting did not work out for you. Could have attacked first. Wasn't gonna block with the mentor. There, you got a poison in. Good job. All right. Well, I think I've, I still want to play this, right? I get an extra mana. Doesn't really do much, but still. You want to bring this to the ending? That. Uh, mm. I question that kind of play. Alright, let's get a land in. Play that. He's at one. Doesn't have lifelink. So he just dies. Cool. GG. Uh, ha, ha. That deck did not survive with rotation, apparently. Alright, our opponent is Wellsman. How well is this man? Oh, he gets to go first. 
looks to be very well. Alright, this, this is a horrendous hand for us to start off, I think. I can value Rock Caller into... If I get to attack, right? If I get to attack. Again, Gecko, Gecko into a Valley Flame Caller or a Jasper Fin. Hmm. It's kind of tricky. It's a lot of ifs. And uh, when I attack, that's my turn 3, which means our opponent's going into their turn 4. Still, I don't know if I can afford a mulligan in his hand. I don't think I can name Outlaws, unfortunately. Oh, Pirates. Didn't expect that. Okay, not Pirates. What? Lizard. So we'll... Do we give? We value Rock Caller. It's harder for him to deal with Gev, I think. Not really harder, but... Hey, you know, it's... At least it's Ward. Synthesizer. What is this deck? Synthesizer? Alright. Well, can't stop that. Didn't even want to attack. So... Time to load the board. <laughs> oh, that was insane. Alright, uh, does he want to trade? Do I, want I mean, uh, th this attacking will trade him anyway, so nah. Don't deal any damage by attacking. Deal a lot more damage by playing stuff. You're gonna copy something? You're gonna copy a staunch crewmate? I'll copy a synthesizer. Cool. Seems to be a pretty good play. Whoa, look at those cards. Return target creature and opponent control to its owner's hand if gift was promised. Instead, return target non land permanent. Wow. I. Whoa, ho, ho. This is insane. I don't want to just play his deck, but I could. So I can bounce the synthesizer. Alright, make him cast it again. You can bounce this 3 3. You can do a lot of things. But I can only bounce one. Gift a tapped fish. I don't really need to bounce a non land permanent, do I? Let's just go in like this first. I don't think he wants to block with those. These are instants. If he blocks a 3 3 here, yeah. Okay. Turn target creature opponent controls. That's a 2 2. Dies for free. Flame caller, or do I synthesize him? Nah. He's gonna do the same thing again, so he's gonna have less stuff. You wanna do it again? Just gonna make three threes. Yep. So make a three three on board. I mean, I I appreciate that combo, but I don't think it's that good. To the top, you say? It's gonna give it to me. Candy trail. Same scry too. I don't know if he remembers that it's gonna give it to me, but you know, I'll take it. Thanks. <laughs> Just giving me all the cards. All right, uh, we can bounce that and return the other one, and then he's got nothing left. Return target creature. Get rid of that. Return target permanent. Get rid of that. Attack for a million. 
Oh man, just totally controlled me or held down. I'm sorry, Wells man. That was not very well for you. Alright, our opponent is Peckles. Peter Piper picked the pickle pepper. We gotta go first. With one drops! That never happens. Alright, let's keep. Hi. Alright, let's get some fine flasher down. This already does damage. Could help. Mountain. Oh, maybe my one damage is gonna go away. Shock on the Vine Lasher. Cool. I think Lizard. We're gonna hire some Claws. Definitely hiring some Claws with this deck. We're all, already out of cards. Okay. Swiss Sphere. And a Shock. Very nice. Very, very nice. Do we want to give him the give? Okay, that land's coming in for sure. I'm attacking for sure, and... Hmm. Right, let's kill the creatures when we have. It's important to kill creatures when we can, right? Take one, take two, take three. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, Gev takes some setups, and I don't know against red if I have time for setups. Do your pump things. It's got more burn spells? Jeez, alright, that's... It's unfortunate that I won't perfectly answer our cards. Lightning Strike. Okay, well at least we get to play on curve. Um, I should have played this first. That would have mattered. Oops. I mean, not blocking or whatever. Demand answer. Cool. I'm a 14. You're a 14. You have another Swiss Sphere. Let's see how it goes. Alright, um... When I attack, it does it does a lot of damage already. Activate only as a sorcery, but I don't want to activate as a sorcery, right? I doubt he's gonna block. He does block. Well, if you're gonna block like that. Down to seven. Ha, <laughs> this is a scary board. Well, our opponent didn't play it nicely. I didn't play it nicely, but I think my not playing nicely is still better than his not playing nicely, so we probably will get the win. That's not right. It's not 14 damage, and you're dead next turn. I mean, it was lethal on board. Goodbye. GG. Mono red, not as fast as the lizards. All right, our opponent is Anjunaib. That, sure, that's a name. We're gonna go first. No one drops, but lots of two drops. Still, no one drops, right? In this deck, I'm not sure. We're going first. Lots of two drops. Not, not really value two drops though. Alright. Kinda have one drop now. We'll keep six. What do we all land? Funny enough. I have to name Squirrel in order to play the Rock Caller. Do I name Squirrel? Actually, I also have to name. Okay, I don't know what to name now. 
So, when it attacks, it loses life. That's good. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of tricky. Still think I do the rock, uh, the rock caller because it gains life. Also, it's menace. Don't think he's gonna block. I mean, let's face it. He, he might just overrun me with the double double striker. Oh yeah. That's two different prowess things. Doesn't attack. Should have attacked. I don't know. Is he hoping to double block? He's not gonna double block. He'll, he'll try to single block the higher claw, right? Don't know if he wants to do that. So if he single blocks a higher claw, I think I'll be okay with just pumping it. Takes the damage. That's a lot of damage. Let's name... I don't know, Lizard? Yeah, at this point I already have the Rock Caller out. I can name Lizard. I can get a Flame Cash Gecko into a Valley Rock Caller. Now, I didn't play the Gef. I didn't really have time to play the Gef. Monster's Rage. Let's see if he gets a Double Striker. He has to deal 20 damage this turn. But I guess he can just burn out my Valley Flame Caller. Which does save him from a lot of damage. Yep. But he has to attack. And I'm not gonna block. It's not even that much damage. In all honesty, I mean... Okay, okay, this time I gotta make sure I'm playing it the right way. So I'll play Gev first. And I'll play the higher claw. I'll take that one. He takes the one. Gev's a little bigger. And everything comes in. Double higher claw trigger. And then the rock color triggers, I gain five life. It's a lot of life. He just takes it, goes down to three. Has to deal 16 damage to strike. He might be able to do it with the uh, trampling double striker. Might of the meek. Pretty big. So they're both trample, right? How do I want to block? Definitely don't want to just take this damage. Let's block like this. I don't want to kill the Heartflyer hero because it would just do damage to me. That's fine. Doesn't trample enough. And he dies from just me attacking. Yeah, GG. Alright, our opponent is Zer... Zernitra. Cool. That's a name. Opponent goes first. Ugh. Never like that. Alright, we got give, double give, double higher claw. I, I'm gonna keep this hand, it's a good hand, but. Opponent starts with an evolving wild, huh? Wow, oh, that is. not what I expected. It's gonna evolve his wild right away. Is this gonna be a green white. the. who's that? Land deck? No way, right? There's a swamp. Okay, I'm confused here. There's a force. It is Aftermath Analyst. Wow. Alright. He, he's gutsy to think he'll last that long. Let's see if he does. So, okay. Do I want to... This isn't once per turn, right? It's not once per turn. But he can definitely remove the get, the give. Still, I think I do it. 
of attack either way, honestly, I think. Don't think it would have mattered too much there. He gets to bring back what? The, uh... I can't look at his graveyard? Why not? Oh, these bugs! There it is. Alright, so he's got Evolving Wild and a Swamp. Okay, do I want to double gift? He wants to do the Vine Lasher thing, right? But I want to double get. Wait, no, legendary. <laughs> Alright, caught that before it became an issue. So I can I can play the Vile Smasher. But or I can play this? No. Let's play the Vile Smasher. And then play the higher claw. attack with the gift. Not attacking with the higher claw because it would just die to a double trade. He can definitely bring back all his lands next turn, but he's gonna take let's say let's call it a buttload of damage. Unless he has another Evolving Wild, then he won't. Pretty sure he doesn't. Yeah, that makes sense. But if he wants to use an Analyst, that's all his mana. He does want to use an Analyst, so... Let us... Offspring this. Spring, take another one. Vent. Is so that seven? Does he just die to this attack? Is so that five? I guess he doesn't die to the attack. But he will take a lot of damage. Yep. So, the Vine Lasher will deal a few damage to you, right? It's not very nice. Goes down to two. He can Gex Command this, which will kill. No, not enough. Nisa. Alright, that gives a lot of mana. Let's see what we get Nisa into. So unfortunately I didn't get a rock caller or a flame caller. Either of those would have kind of sealed the game, but this is still pretty close to dead. Alright, you got four mana here. What do you plan to do with four mana? No no. Seal looks pretty lethal to me. Virtue. What does this do? Plays an evolving wild. Okay. Um, five mana for Gix. I mean, Gix command still doesn't kill. Right? Yeah, it's, uh, getting three greens definitely doesn't help. Yeah, this deck is so much weaker without the life gaining lands. Also, can't look at a graveyard because of the bugs. Just gonna let our opponent rope out, I guess. This, this is game over. Alright, don't rope out. Good. GG. Welcome back, everyone. Now that you've seen those games, how do you feel? This deck, I feel it's insane. I mean, I, I played, was it nine games? I won eight games. The only one I didn't win was I somehow was a mana screwed against Mono Red and they were on the play and then they just burned me out before I were able, were able to play anything after mulling down a five.
other than that one game, every other game just blowed out the opponent because so much damage up front. It just higher claw. One mana deals like five or six damage. Iridescent uh, Vine Lasher, one mana deals like five or six damage. And then Valley Rock Caller give us life so that they can't burn us out that quickly in most scenarios. Because when we attack, we deal damage, we gain life, and when they attack, they only deal damage, so you know, we gain the life back and we kill them that way. And they usually die about turn 4 or 5. So, yeah, this deck, really, every game lasts about 4 minutes, maybe. And it is overwhelmingly strong. I don't even know how to count combat this, other than just hopefully you draw your temporary lockdown. But even then, right, the 3 drops and the haste, it will get you. So, yeah, this deck, insanely fast. Rack those lizards. Be on the lookout. That's our new new king of aggro, maybe? We'll see. We definitely beat the, uh, the Convoke deck. The Boros Convoke was no match for this. All right, that's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.